In this video, we will graph the trigonometric function y equals 4 sine of 3x minus pi. This function has the form y equals a sine of bx minus c. Then in our function, a is 4, b is 3, and c is pi. To graph this function, First, we need to find the amplitude, the period, and the phase shift. The amplitude is found using the formula absolute value of a, and in this case, the absolute value of 4 is 4. This tells us that the maximum value of this function will be 4, and the minimum value will be negative 4. Next, we will find the period, and the formula is 2 pi divided by b. We will replace b with 3, and the period will be 2 pi over 3. This means that over this period, the function will complete one full cycle. Next, we will find the phase shift, and the formula is c over b. Then we will replace c with pi, and b with 3, so the phase shift is pi over 3. This is the x-coordinate where the cycle will begin. Now, let's start the rectangular coordinate system, and let's see what we have so far. Because the amplitude of this function is 4 on the y-axis, we need 4 units up and 4 units down. The phase shift is pi over 3, and this is the x-coordinate where the cycle will begin, so on x-axis we will plot pi over 3. So here we will have the first point, and the cycle will extend over the period of 2 pi over 3. So if we take the phase shift, which is pi over 3, and we add the period 2 pi over 3, then 1 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 is 3 pi over 3, which is pi. So again, on the x-axis, pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 makes pi. Then, if we graph the function over one period, then the graph will be on the interval from pi over 3 to pi. Now, to graph this function, we will find five points, and these will be the x-intercepts, the maximum value, and the minimum value. We will start by dividing the period by 4 to find the quarter period. So, period over 4 equals 2 pi over 3 divided by 4, which is equal to 2 pi over 3 multiplied by 1 over 4. Then, we will divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, and the quarter period will be pi over 6. And this means that if we divide this interval into four sub-intervals, then each one has the length of pi over 6. Now, we need to find the x-coordinates of these points, and we already have the first one, and that is pi over 3. So, to the left, I will write that x equals pi over 3. Again, this is the point where the cycle will start. Now, to find the next x-coordinate, we need to take the previous one and add a quarter period. So the next x will be pi over 3 plus pi over 6. To add them, we need the same denominator, and for this we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction by 2. Then 2 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 equals 3 pi over 6, and if we reduce it, we will get pi over 2. So, the x-coordinate of this point is pi over 2. Now, to find the next x-coordinate, we will take the previous one, which is pi over 2, and we will add a quarter period. Then, x equals pi over 2 plus pi over 6. Again, we need the same denominator. Then 3 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 
equals 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. So the next point here has the x coordinate 2 pi over 3. And now to find the next x, we will take 2 pi over 3 and we will add a quarter period, which is pi over 6. We will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction by 2, then 4 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 equals 5 pi over 6. Then the next point on the x-axis has the coordinate 5 pi over 6. And now if from this point we add another quarter period, we should get pi. So then x equals 5 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 and this is 6 pi over 6 which is just pi. And indeed the last point here is pi. Next we will take these x values, we will replace them in the function and we will find the values for y. I will copy down here the function one more time, y equals 4 sine of 3x minus pi. Then I will create a table that will hold the values for x and y. So here I have the table with the values for x. And now to find the first y coordinate, we will replace pi over 3 into the function. Then we will have y equals 4 sine of 3 times pi over 3 minus pi. 3 and 3 will cancel and pi minus pi is 0. Then 4 sine of 0 is 0 because sine of 0 is 0 and 0 times 4 is 0. So the first y coordinate is 0. So then here on the x-axis we will have the first point of the cycle. Now to find the next y coordinate, we will replace x with pi over 2. So we will have y equals 4 sine of 3 multiplied by pi over 2 minus pi. Now here in parentheses, if we get the same denominator, we will have 3 pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 2, which makes pi over 2. Then we will have 4 times sine of pi over 2 and sine of pi over 2 is 1 and 4 times 1 is 4. So then in the table the second y coordinate is 4. Now let's plot this point on the graph and if you recall the basic sine function then it was expected that from this point the graph will go up. Let me quickly graph for you the basic sine function. And here we have it and as you see the first point of the cycle is on the x-axis. Then from here whenever we have a positive number in front of sine the graph will go up. That's why in our function because we have a positive number in front of sine from this point the graph goes up. Now let's continue with the next y-coordinate. You've probably already noticed the pattern that the next y coordinate will be 0, then negative 4, then 0. We will still do all the calculations and we will see if we are right. So then y equals 4 sine of 3 times 2 pi over 3 minus pi. Then 3 and 3 will cancel and 2 pi minus pi is pi. Then we will have 4 times sine of pi and sine of pi is 0 and 4 times 0 is 0. And indeed this y coordinate is 0. Next y equals 4 sine of 3 times 5 pi over 6 minus pi. We will reduce 3 and 6 and we will have 2 in the denominator. Then if we get the same denominator, we will have 5 pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 2, which makes 3 pi over 2. 
then we will have 4 times sine of 3 pi over 2 and sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1 and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Then in the last row y equals 4 sine of 3 times pi minus pi equals 4 times sine of 2 pi. Sine of 2 pi is 0 and 4 times 0 is 0. Now I will plot the rest of the points starting with 2 pi over 3 and 0. So here we have 2 pi over 3 0, then 5 pi over 6 negative 4, then pi 0. And now we will connect the points to get the graph. So here we have the graph of the function y equals 4 sine of 3x minus pi. I hope you liked the explanation. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.